We are just leaving the small parking area slash campsite and the, the campsite looks phenomenal. So if you're thinking about doing this trip, it would be great to camp right there. And this does look like it's more of a half day trip, although very beautiful. And the road in to the final destination, the last turn, did turn a little rougher. I'd say it would be risky in a two wheel drive, regular vehicle, obviously a truck or any four wheel drive would make it no problem. There were some minor dips and clearance obstacles to be aware of. So anyway, that's my story. I'm going big. Nice little trail too. Hard to find to begin with, but then easy. My route hasn't been exactly on Ryan Road Trip's little trace track, but very close. And I have it on the trail, so I feel really confident about all that. And it's actually a pretty nice trail. And hopefully you can see it right there. And the vistas are unbelievable. So far, I am happy with this, for sure. We have reached the headwall, and now we're just traversing along the base in order to find its weakness, which is actually on the opposite side of the mesa. So, still incredibly awesome. Not disappointed whatsoever. rounded another bend and the views just keep on coming. So yeah. Wow. Beautiful area. That big Karen's mark in the headwall. Boy, this looks pretty friendly. You can just pop right up there. No thing. Wow. 
pretty amazing. Okay, well we just got above the crooks. It was a very short and easy class five stemming problem. A for real class five though. Uh, not a very long fall, no exposure associated to it. Definitely would be easy to do at the spot. And there's still plenty of cairns around. So everything seems to be going exactly according to plan. And it's a cool plan. So we'll see up there. That last bit was kind of a loose, sloppy fest. From above though, it does appear so you can stay a little more over by that pinnacle and actually be on a nice trail instead of just a loose gully fest. And I'm on a nice trail right now. So apparently this place has been visited fairly regularly. And I can see why, because it's fantastic. I am really enjoying this climb. It is loose though as most all of the swell, but it is cool. And it is obvious. Lots of Cairns, especially as it gets more communal toward the top. But with Ryan Road Trips app, you don't have to worry about a thing. So between the two, this is relatively safe and fun. And I'm gonna pop right up there and I think I'll be about on the summit. This was a great trip. Definitely my kind of trip. Really, really enjoyed it. I like just a little bit of climbing without any really thing too dangerous. For me, it was optimal. Beautiful views all around. Can't say enough about that. And the road in was really nice, right up to the last turnoff and a couple miles. 
So no reason not to do this, even if you had to hike a little extra or take your bike would be super fast and easy. You can see the road right now and the turn off. So that's where it gets a little shitty. So you just go up those white steps and then behind the block there in the shadows and away you go. And then we're just gonna traverse back around the blue sky corner right there, just right of the dead tree and back to the front face where we parked. Now I'm back to the car. Excellent adventure. Looking forward to the next. So we just gotta get down there. We're good to go. I have meandered my way around this beautiful tower, pinnacle as it were, and I am just going down the last super loose, icky kind of face back toward the road and the parking side. So do be careful, there is lots of loose and some brittle. Yeah, even on that climb, I grabbed something that was completely loose and that was quite an exciting surprise. Another great trip, San Rafael Swell delivers with flying colors. Awesome, we are at the car. I hope you enjoyed this little adventure. If you did, please like and subscribe. Love to hang out some more, show you some of the coolest stuff that I can find around Colorado as well as Utah. So far, it's been going phenomenally well. Again, thank you for joining me. We'll check in with you soon.